Hi, I'm Dennis Isbister of Wild Fish Wild Places Television. Today we're up in a very remote corner of Nevada um, fishing. We've been fishing for a couple days and we put together a pattern that I thought might be very interesting or useful to you, you guys out there. Uh, my friend Austin figured it out. Um, we got here, fish shallow a couple days. We had this crazy heat wave come through. All the fish went deep. Uh, we had to start fishing like 16, 18 feet. So we put an indicator, a breakaway indicator, um, a couple heavy fulling mill, like a tungsten head jig fly, and another like a coronamid below that, fishing very deep. We got eight foot six four weights, which makes it a little difficult to set the hook, but we slammed them. It went from catching like a fish an hour to like 10 fish an hour. So I'm gonna show you what we're doing walk you through the steps, show you exactly how we rig everything, and hopefully it'll help you out there on a day when it's been too hot and you're trying to find some fish. So what we're doing here, we're deep water indicating these fish of been up shallow, they got really hot, they moved out into the deep weed beds, and so we found them, kind of out, it looks like in the middle of nowhere, but we found on our fish finder some weed beds out here, 16, 18 feet deep, and the fish are stacked on them. That's one of the fun things about this time of year. They don't really get spread out, they're really piled up in one area, so if you can figure them out, it's a lot of fast action. So we've got our hardy um, eight foot six four weights rigged up. Um, it, they're a little short, like if you had a of a four weight that was like a 10 footer, it'd make a lot of difference because you're having to set a lot of line and you've got a lot of leader here. So we've got four weight rods, eight foot six, and one of the keys to this whole system is a breakaway indicator. So you want an indicator that goes in, half itch it, and then they come loose when you set the hook so you can land the fish, it goes down. Adam's built fishing bait, some that we use. Um, and then we're running like 16 feet a liter um, and about 14 feet a liter. We got one on one side, one on the other. We want them about, you know, one or two, three feet off the bottom is key. Um, all fluorocarbon, and then we've got an olive jig fly on one rod with a dropper of a, of a little, like a bright colored uh, midge, and then an olive balance leech with a uh, chartreuse head. Uh, and a dropper and a little tiny zebra midge. I actually caught the biggest fish on the zebra midge. So what's happening is we, we got them out and you're just letting them sit. And then pretty soon those fish will come by and you'll just see a little tiny tap on there. They'll just mess with it, mess with it, mess with it. Twitch it, I'll mess with it again. So then finally they'll eat it. So it's a very precise technique. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, very visual. You can see them messing with it. You gotta mess with them and then it goes under and the fish is on. Out here, middle of the summer, and we're catching giant fish like this, deep water indicating little tiny zebra midges in the morning and uh, big balance leeches and all the jig flies in the afternoon. It is unbelievable out here completely alone. <laughs> Catching a lot of nice fish. So if you want a different way, a different approach, kind of more, a different approach to more traditional type of fly fishing, try this deep water indicating stuff. It's a lot of fun and you can put a lot of fish in the boat. Oh. 